We're here with Daniel Bongard, the supervising engineer at ARB head office. Now this thing here, Daniel, is red and it's flash. It is a diff cover. Why would people want a diff cover? Well, obviously the biggest reason you're going to want an aftermarket diff cover is to prevent the sort of damage you can get on the trail. That's obviously going to cost you your day out on the road and make for a bad weekend. Well, Daniel, if people are looking at a diff cover, what sort of quality should they be looking at for a good quality one? Well, obviously strength is what you're looking for. You're not going to get the sort of strength that you're going to need to back into a rock out of any sort of sheet metal cover. Nodular iron is about the toughest material out there for that sort of thing, which is actually what the diff center would be made of itself, not so much the casings of anything that's mass produced. We also want to look for things like recessed bolts so that you're not going to damage the bolts as you go into obstacles. One of the biggest advantages of a good cover on a Salisbury type unit as found in the Dana axles is the fact that they normally have no form of drain plug at all. We've actually offered a drain a filler plug on the front so that you can sample your oil or reduce the oil level, change your oil over on a regular basis without having to pry the whole cover off the unit and having to reseal it all back up. They spoke about strength. Why is strength so important to holding a diff together? Well, there's a lot of torque going across your axle set. People are quite often putting axles into rock crawling vehicles that will have braking strains in excess of 14,000 foot-pounds. That's a lot of twist going across the open cavity of the, the Salisbury axle. A sheet metal cover is actually just going to allow it to flex easily under that sort of twist, and that changes the way the bearing cone and cup is going to mate with each other. You're going to get point contact in your bearings, which will destroy the bearings very prematurely. You change the, the way the uh, pinion gear actually mates with the ring gear in the vehicle so that you get the corner of the tooth contacting the flat which is what damages the ring gear and will ultimately result in a, a tooth breaking off at a very low torque. So much like the difference of just a box with a lid on and off? Correct. And what about approach and departure angles because it's quite a thick casing how does that affect those? We also want to maximize the approach and departure angle, minimize the instance of anything hanging up on the unit. So everything's got nice angled surfaces on it. You can't hang up on the bolts, even the drain plug we've kept low. We've tucked it into a cavity in the cover so that it's well protected away from anything that you could normally hang on. Now, Daniel, R&D is the cornerstone of all ARB products, but I believe you had a novel way of testing out these cases. Apart from finite element analysis, field testing, some lab testing involving sledgehammers, Here's one we prepared earlier on a standard OE differential cover. Absolutely a simple design, something that would be very effective to protecting the front diffs and strengthening up the front axles. But realistically, how long will something like this take to install? The install time, it's a straight changeover. Standard tools at home take about half an hour at home for the average handyman. Well, I just wish they came out for the Toyotas because I'd love a red horny thing on the front of my diff like that. But Daniel Bongard, once again, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Simon.